Hello there. All right. Hey everyone and welcome once again to a new merchandise update video. Last time I did one of these was the middle of 2023 and since then we have been and gone with Christmas and there have been a lot of music collecting in between on my part which naturally means we have a lot to go through in this video. But we're going to try and whiz through everything as quickly as possible and just do it also as entertainingly as possible. So we are indeed going to go through the items I picked up in the last half year or so and we're going to do it in a sort of chronological order of sorts. So in the summer of last year I picked up a Iron Maiden Book of Souls themed gauntlet slash mug slash cup slash whatever you want to call it. It looks really cool which naturally is the reason why I picked it up. In fact, it is stood right behind me, so I may as well just show it off in all its glory. Around that same time, unfortunately, my ACDC speaker did pack up and die, and then some. The state of it was pretty abysmal. So it was about time to chuck it out and replace it with a new Bluetooth speaker, which is this one right here, as it happens, and it works a treat. Also, in the summer of last year, one of my favorite bands of all time, released a brand new album as if you've been keeping up with my channel around that time then you are probably well aware about that already but Avenged Sevenfold did release their album Life Is But A Dream and as a result of that I purchased as much memorabilia relating to it as I possibly could I bought a Metal Hammer magazine which had a free patch, a free sticker, a free artwork which is why it was a no-brainer for me to pick it up and evidently alongside that I also picked up the CD and vinyl of the album itself, which I have zero regrets about, by the way. Late summer last year, I also attended a absolutely fucking fantastic uh, carcass gig. And at that show, I picked up a tour flag and a tour shirt. One of my favourite concerts I've ever been to, in fact. I managed to cop a free sticker, and Jeff Walker gave me a guitar pick at the end of the show. I got to crowd surf as Heartwork was playing, and I got to fist bump Bill Steer. It was a fucking amazing gig. Another pretty big thing that happened last year is I graduated uni and as such, I received a couple graduation presents, which we are going to cut to the footage of me unboxing those right now. And we're back at the OG spot. It wouldn't really be a merch update if we weren't back here for at least one little segment to unbox some stuff now, would we? First thing we want to check out is this fun little, I think it was, it was known, it was called a care package is what it was called. It was a post-graduation care package. So it says novelty survival kit in a can. What the hell is... Oh, it's a coaster. Oh, how cute. <laughs> that really that really caught me off guard for a second there. So in here we have a sponge. We have a plastic medal. We do have a sweetie necklace of sorts. A rubber band, as you do. A candle. A, a cardboard made horse shoe um what else a snickers that has been there a while which means it's probably too dangerous to eat by now a pen a pen uh, a, a magnifying glass we have one singular unicell battery <laughs> excellent <laughs> that'll help power at one of my screwdrivers smiley face badge that's pretty cute actually i might actually put that on my jacket the fuck is this oh it's tea pg tips okay we got a keychain of the globe. We got a black paper clip. And oh boy, right at the bottom, a one pence piece. What a discovery. What a mess it has caused. <laughs> right, let's get that all out of the way. Ugh. Right, one more item that I got as part of my graduation celebration. It's a big brown box. Based on the size alone, my guess is it's a vinyl of sorts, or maybe a few vinyl. Okay, so it looks like we got Oh, it's a it's a Doctor Who vinyl, and it's upside down. All right, let's take this out very carefully. Oh, this is a big boy. This is fucking huge. Oh my god, it's heavy. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, five original audio dramas on vinyl. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of its out of its. Oh my god, that's so heavy. What the fuck? That's awesome. What is this about then, huh? Five original audio dramas. Okay, we got LP 1 and 2 as the Relics of Time. LP 3 and 4, The Demon of Paris. That's The Sharp of Ice on LP 5 and 6. Starfall on LP 7 and 8. And then on 9 and 10 is Se Se Sepul... Sepul... Kcha. 
Se Sepultura. <laughs> it's Tom, it's some fourth doctor adventures here. I might have to do a full unboxing of this right now. At least get off the shrink wrap and see what's inside. This is a specimen and a half. It looks like there's a thin cardboard sleeve that protects this thing further after we get beneath the shrink wrap. If we get beneath the shrink wrap, that is, because this is being very fickle. Probably cost my parents a fortune. Okay, and then we look at, let's turn it over. These, that's some cool designs. Okay, and now we're gonna open it up. I'm assuming these have got individual sleeves for individual stories. Right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not break it, hopefully. Uh, okay, right, so this is just the, that's that. Oh, this is a workout, okay. Okay, so we've got the booklet, I imagine, which has the stories inside. Oh my goodness! What the fuck is all this about? This is about the relics of time. Okay, Demon of Paris. This is basically like a leaflet that tells you what's inside and gives you extra shite. This is so cool. Big finish, you outdid yourself here. And then this is a signed print of Tom Baker. Excellent. <laughs> just casually. Okay, and these are the individual adventures, I reckon. Or is this just LP1? Okay, this is just side one and two. Okay, so this is the Relics of Time part one on here. This will be the next one, which is... Relics of Time Part 2. This will be this will be Demon of Paris, won't it? Demon of Paris Part 1. Fuck is this? This is so cool. Okay, Paris of uh, Demon of Paris Part 2. Shard of Ice Part 1. These designs look so bloody cool. This is Shard Shard of Ice Part 2. What the hell? Starfall. Oh my goodness. Now that is a that is a sick design. And this is Starfall Part 2. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but that's part one of this final story. And then this will leave the final one that is stuck in there a little bit. Okay. What an absolutely fucking excellent set this is. With, like I say, a signed print with Tom Baker's signature, the actual booklet, which is amazing in and of itself. I would have been happy with just that. But then we actually have the audio adventures of the fourth doctor in here as well. It is actually bloody amazing. I am blown away by this release and I am absolutely miffed that I haven't unboxed this thing sooner, to be frank. Um, all the designs on these things are absolutely bloody stunning. Love this one, by the way. Um, yeah, I honestly, probably my favorite item that we've seen um, in this entire merch update series, to be honest. This thing is bloody excellent, and yeah, I um, not much more to say. That was the unboxing segment finished for this uh, oh, this part of the merch update. Uh, let's cut back to, to me talking about more of the stuff we got. I'm going to spend the next half an hour gawking at this and then eventually sucking it up and putting these back in the box where they belong to be preserved. And now we've reached the segment in the merch updates that takes the longest to get through, and that is the CDs. Why, you ask? Because I just collect so bloody many. So much so that I need to write a list out to keep check of what I have purchased. So, the CDs I picked up in the interim between the last merch update and this one include Man of War's Triumph of Steel, System of a Down's Hypnotize, Black Sabbath's Paranoid, and Black Sabbath's Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. I also picked up Dream Theater's Dramatic Turn of Events and their self-titled. I picked up Napalm Death's Fear, Emptiness and Despair as well as Napalm Death's Utilitarian. I picked up Misfits' American Psycho album. Picked up Rem Around the Sun. Picked up Sonic Youth's Sister album. Also got Children of Bodom's Are You Dead Yet? Escape the Fates' This War Is Ours. Judas Priest, Defenders of the Faith. Killswitch Engages, The End of Heartache, Def Leppard, When Love and Hate Collide, Alien Ant Farm with Anthology, and Soulfly's Primitive. You thought that was it? Think again. We're only just halfway through. We also picked up Soulfly's 3. We also got Dream Theater's Change of Seasons EP. We got Judas Priest, Point of Entry, Airborne, Running Wild, Mastodon's Crack the Sky, we got Rage Against the Machine's Los Angeles album. We got Skid Row's Slave to the Grind. We got Opeth's Damnation and Opeth's Ghost Reveries. We got Napalm Death's The Code is Red, Long Live the Code. Also, Napalm Death's Scum. Alongside that, I also got, bloody hell, there's so many. Slayer's God Hates Us All, Deicide's Legion. Also, to surprise a few people, I also picked up Carcass's Heartwork CD again. I say again because the original copy that I picked up, I believe in the last update or the one before that, the CD was missing. It was a first-hand CD as well, I was pretty peeved about that. 
So I had to rebuy Heartwork again. But alongside that CD that I bought this time, I also got the EP of Heartwork as well, which I was very, very chuffed to find at such a low price. I also got Faith No More, the real one, Slayer's Undisputed Attitude, and a thrash metal box set collection, like compilation disc thing. Pretty fucking sick if you ask me. Only a couple more. I also got a Alice Cooper Long Box Trilogy box set, which features Killer, Schools Out, and Billion Dollar Babies. Three absolutely excellent Alice Cooper albums. And last, but certainly not least, I picked up Trivium's In Waves Special Edition. Right, now we move on to other random memorabilia. Briefly, though. I got a Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction t-shirt, I got a Goat Whore t-shirt, and also I got a Slipknot book, which is currently actually missing. I don't really know where it is. For all I know, since picking it up, it's grown legs and ran away back to the motherland. But the book looks like this, if I'm unable to find my copy for this video by the time I'm editing it. This is what it looked like. I'll find a version on the internet. A family friend also gave me a job lot of secondhand vinyl, which was very, very nice of him. I got a Magnum vinyl, I got a Bloodgood vinyl, I got a Styx vinyl, a Wild Horse vinyl, a Tank vinyl, a Metal for Muthas vinyl, I got a vinyl by The Cult, I got a Slammer vinyl, I got an MSG vinyl, a Europe vinyl, and a UFO vinyl. Not a bad vinyl haul if I do say so myself. And now we move on to the Christmas haul. The items I received during Crimbo. I got The Young Ones as a DVD box set of the two seasons. I got Across the Spider-Verse on Blu-ray. I got two Lego sets this year for me and my father to build. Father, very official. Got Harry Potter Hogwarts set and a Batman Batmobile set. Both I am very, very excited to build. I got a Pinkly Smooth Band t-shirt, which I was fucking jumping with joy when I opened. I got two Doctor Who books. I got Storm Harvest and Theatre of War. As for the CDs I got for Christmas, I received the Doctor Who Big Finish Dark Eyes 1 box set. I also got Cannibal Corpse Violence Unimagined on CD. I got Volbeat's Servants of the Mind CD. I also got Sonata Arctica's Pariah's Child CD. And then to top off the music that I've got for this update, I got Pantera's Cowboys from Hell on vinyl, which I was skipping around the living room like a little kid when I opened that up. I was very happy, as I'm sure most metalheads would be. A couple more items to showcase to round out this merch update. I also got more fuck. Wait, did I get it wrong again? What does this say? Oh, it says for cuck. There you go. Silly me. For the uninitiated, this is just deodorant. Why you ask? Because my parents think I smell, apparently. Charming. What else did I get for Christmas? I can't actually remember, you know? I can't think of what else I got for Christmas. Hmm. Oh, it was this. Adam got me the David Tennant Sonic Screwdriver from the 60th anniversary episodes, which was very, very nice of him, I must say. And if that wasn't generous enough for Adam, he made me another very, very special present, which I'll show you right now. He hand drew this bad boy. Yet to be framed, but a wanted poster of me. <laughs> what an excellent job he's done here, huh? I think it's brilliant. But I am preserving it until I get it framed or laminated or something, because that's what it, it deserves. It needs to be preserved. It belongs in a museum! Couple last minute extra items I forgot to mention in this video. I bought my father the new Foo Fighters album, uh, but here we are is what the name of it. As well as that, I also treated myself to two Doctor Who magazines. One of them is technically the Radio Times, but it had factoids in there and interviews that intrigued me. Um, and then also, like I say, uh, Doctor Who magazine regarding the 60th anniversary specials, which I could not pass up. Looks like a lot of fun to read. The guy who hasn't opened it yet says. But there we go. That is everything that I received between the last merch update and this one. So that will indeed about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your most favorite item that I showed off in this video is. Let me know which one you're most jealous that I have and you don't. And yeah, I guess I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. I don't really know how to close this one out. I never really do, you know. These videos do end quite awkwardly, don't they?